the Earth, the, the Earth, a civilization of people existing upon its surface, harbors another civilization deep in its very core. Deep in its very core. Well, it's May 1st, and you may not know the significance of this date. It's a celebration of the Communist Manifesto. Mm -hmm. I am not down with communism, and I hope that that is self-evident. So forget about the Communist Party. We're going to have our own party, and we're going to look at games about freedom fighting. And we'll take a look at them right now. It's Captain America and the Avengers. The Avengers. This 1991 arcade game is the first up on our list of freedom fighting games. You cannot beat me. <laughs> I love that funny little laugh. <laughs> you get to pick between Captain America, Iron Man, Hawkeye, or The Vision. And you could also play up to four players on the original arcade game. Each player has their different special abilities. Captain America has his shield, of course, but he can only launch it forward. If you jump and shoot at the same time, then he'll do kind of like a diagonal kick jump, whereas if you're playing the Vision or Iron Man, you would shoot a ray of energy diagonally down to the ground. And also with Hawkeye, he could shoot an arrow forward or he can shoot an arrow diagonally down to the ground. So those three characters are very similar, but the trajectories of their projectiles are a little different. However, when you're in the flying stages, I prefer to have Captain America because he can throw his shield very fast. I have no idea whether his shield is a little weaker than the other character's uh, power bursts or anything like that. But I do prefer using that character. The game is very short, but most arcade games are. They really don't give you a lot of energy when you start the game, and it's very easy to have to continue a lot. As I said, it wasn't quite up to a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And when you're playing with other people, there's not that really big camaraderie and, and fun as there was with the Turtle game. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's because the characters are a bit small on the screen. I do like the bosses. I especially like the underwater scene and the boss, the octopus robotic submarine thing. That's pretty cool. What would really be cool is if you could play as Daniel Boone or George Washington. I think I sense a fan game. You can't escape. But if you're feeling patriotic, America still needs your help. Get ready to do the funky chicken in 3D with Rocket Birds Hard Boiled Chicken. That's right, it's a game on the PS3. It originally was a Flash based game on the web. In fact, you can play the original right now, or at least a trial online. You know, one thing before we start, I don't know where the music is going with this game, whether it's going this way or whether it's going that way. The first lyric I heard when I turned on the demo was, let's steal from the rich and give to the poor. Redistribution of wealth is communism. And Robin Hood did not steal from the rich. While King Richard the Lionhearted was out of town, his brother took the throne illegally and taxed the people of the kingdom heavily. But even worse, his tax gatherers secretly took more than they were supposed to. So Robin Hood didn't steal from the rich. He was stealing back the money that was wrongfully taken. There is a difference, you know. And then in another lyric, they say, Once I was lost and now I'm found. Now they're going into Christian music? Strange. Anyway, most of the time in this game, there are very large spaces where there's no music at all, which is kind of bizarre. The game's got a cool cartoony feel. But even with the 2D cartoon, they do a good job of making it 3D by moving the scene a little bit back and forth every once in a while. They keep the 3D motion going that way. The gameplay is pretty cool. You've got different guns that you can pick up. There are key cards that you have to find. The 
The rocket pack sequences are fun and challenging, and it makes the game a little bit different. And then you get back into the side-scrolling stuff, giving the game a little bit of variety, and also keeping to the title of the game, Rocket Birds. This game is rated M for Mature, so there are some blood splatters and things like that, but it's all cartoony, so it's not really that bad. This game not only supports 3D TV, but a wide variety of anaglyph classes as well. And that's Rocket Birds Hard Boiled. I'll leave it to you to make up your mind whether this is a freedom fighting game or something else. It's time for some jet action. Our next game can only be considered a freedom fighting game if you happen to be a communist Cuban gorilla. I said gorilla, not gorilla. Gorilla War by SNK. Yep, this game is one that I really liked in the 80s. However, I have found out recently that it is actually all about Che Guevara. Yes, it's that guy that's on the t-shirts. Why anybody would want to wear a t-shirt with this guy on it. This guy was a terrible, terrible person who killed many hundreds of people, lined them up, had them shot while he watched. He wanted to become a human killing machine. He hated rock and roll. He hated people of color. He hated America. Che Guevara is known to have said, I don't need proof to execute a man. I only need proof that it's necessary to execute him. Is this somebody you would really want on your t-shirt? Come on. The game itself is pretty fun to play. You have grenades and you have a machine gun. But if you shoot the guys in red, the most communist commies there are, then you get other weapons. You can get a flamethrower. You can also get kind of like a laser gun for some weird reason. I don't know how they had laser guns. You can also hitch a ride in a tank, which slowly runs out of gas. And if you're hit by a weapon, the gas also goes down. It's sort of like a shield counter. The bosses range from helicopters that have missiles, to tanks with missiles, to guys in tanks that throw grenades, to people wearing bulletproof vests, you name it. Sorry, sir, the building is occupied. You cannot be saying things like that here. Of course, in the 80s, when I saw the words, Hail the Heroes of the Revolution, I thought something was wrong with this game. The country is struggling against the cruel domination of the king. Their leader and his comrades attempt to secretly land on the shore, but the king's military is waiting to attack them. So what is the difference between the communist guerrillas fighting the tyranny of the king and the American revolutionaries fighting against a different king, the king of England? Well, communists don't stop at just taking over their own country. They want to take over many countries, and maybe even the world. The American colonists wanted to be free from the king's laws and severe taxation. They fought for freedom. Communists destroy, capitalists create and build. So you and a friend can take down the king and become dictators of the country until somebody else comes along, kills you, and takes over as dictator. Have fun. That's all the time we have for today. I'll see you again in the next episode. In the WH game hideout. Yeah, I said it right. Yeah, but communism is so cool, isn't it? Well, actually, communism equals less freedom.
And less freedom means we will not be playing video games. In fact, if the greeniuses get their way, we won't be able to afford the electric bill to play the video games, man.